Hey y'all, Sheree here from At Home with Sheree. Today I'm in the kitchen and I'm very excited because I'm about to use my new digital pressure canner. Um, I have a regular pressure canner and I took a wonderful Zoom class with Lady Cheryl of Lady Cheryl's Permaculture Food Forest. I'll leave a link to her YouTube channel in the description box. But I took a class with her a couple months ago and I learned to use the regular pressure canner. And I had this digital canner also in my cart. Um, and so I decided to go ahead and buy it. And be, and I first of all, I kind of want to have two so that when I'm in the midst of canning, you know, I can get more done at once. I don't have to spend like weeks and weeks trying to can up all this food that I want to can. But also, I just wanted to test this digital canner because one of the things I found when I was doing the class is I can get easily distracted. <laughs> and there were two times during the during the class where it was like I was supposed to be watching the pressure stabilize and you know I saw something across the kitchen and I wandered over and I came back I'm like, oh my god, I was supposed to be watching the pressure. And then that kind of adds time and I don't know, I feel like it could lead to some craziness happening. So I wanted to see if this digital uh, pressure can would work better for me in that, you know, if I could set the pressure and it holds the pressure and I don't have to worry about watching it and making sure, you know, if it's fluctuating and then starting the time. So we'll see. Um, I'm hoping it's a little bit easier to control the pressure and control the time of things. So I'm going to do a comparison of this digital pressure canner to the use of the regular pressure canner. And then I'll tell you guys about my experience. So I am also excited to look through this ball. Um, this is the all new ball book of canning and preserving. So I'm gonna be using some recipes from this book. My garage is well, well stocked on um, mason jars for canning. And so I already have a batch that has been uh, cleaned and are waiting and ready to go. So yeah, I'll get into it. Because I wanna make sure I have carrots in my homemade pantry, I uh, bought a few bags of multicolored organic carrots um, while they're in stock because this was another thing uh, for several months, I couldn't get them at my supermarket. It was the craziest thing. And so I'm going to be freezing this batch and I'm gonna seal them with my food saver. And then I have another batch that I'm going to try and can. Um, I'm not sure if these purple ones are going in the yellow. See, it's actually four different colors. I don't know if that purple is gonna bleed out into the other carrots when I can them. And so I wanna go ahead and have some frozen just so I can keep the colors different. But I'm gonna do one jar canned and see you know how that turns out and if they keep their color then i'll can some more okay here's a quick picture of what the carrots look like before pressure canning and see here's the one i can already see just the boiling water it's pulling that purple color out so we'll see how this looks in the end but it's kind of hoping that the purple carrots will stay purple we'll see I have a total of five. Pints. So I have five pint-sized jars in this um, in this new digital pressure canner. And let's see, let's see how this goes. Okay, here are my carrots removed from the pressure canner. You can see um, they're still boiling on the inside there, and you can see here. Unfortunately, these don't look like pretty rainbow mixed carrots anymore. So I would definitely be preserving the rainbow mixed ones um, using the freezer. And I might actually dry some. That's going to be my next thing is dehydrating some um, to maintain that colorful mix. But they're still going to be tasty. Here are the white ones. And here are the orange ones. So I'm going to let these sit overnight. I'm not 
it's supposed to disturb them for um, 24 hours. So I will just sit here and I'll check in on them later. Okay, friends, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I actually, after canning the, that first batch of carrots, I canned more carrots. And we've actually already eaten some carrots. <laughs> but let me just show you. These are the orange ones. These are the yellow ones. This is the one where they were all mixing. You can see the ones that were um, red on the outside, purple, lost their color. And then I've actually gone on to can more things, which I'm going to put together in a compilation video. Um, so yes, I have to say, I like this digital uh, pressure canner. I'm about to do a big pressure canning session over the weekend. Um, just to give you a quick look of what to look forward to. This is actually a turkey and mustards um, recipe that I followed from Lady Cheryl. Um, I follow her guidelines. I spice it how I wanted it to, uh, to do it. I didn't have the smoked turkey that she had, so I just bought some turkey thighs and roasted them. It's delicious. I canned four of these um, quart-sized jars. We have two left. We've already eaten them. Um, I did six things of kale. We've already eaten two. So I am, um, yeah, I'm thrilled with the pressure canner. Um, I will continue to use the regular pressure canner just because, you know, my idea is to have them both running at the same time. Um, but I do like the ease. And for someone like me, who's easily distracted, um, from what I'm doing, um, you know, it's hard for me to just stand over something for 90 minutes. Uh, the beeping and all those things that goes along with this pressure canner is wonderful for someone with some attention if <laughs> issues like me. So yeah, I'm thrilled so far. I have a lot more things I wanna try um, and I will be sharing more of this canning journey with you guys um, later. So I thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day.